Ian here from In 30 Minutes Guides, and I have a little bit of a problem in Adobe Acrobat. I've discovered when I've created uh, a form in Adobe Acrobat, even if I select the text to be something like this, uh, Aramis, which is a cursive font, when I go to the fonts that are embedded inside this PDF, Aramis doesn't show up. And the problem with this is if I, basically I sell these PDFs, they're specialized PDFs for genealogy, if I send this, if I sell this PDF to somebody and they don't have Aramis on their system for some reason, they won't be able to type. They won't be able to type in this type of text and Adobe will substitute something else. So what I want to do is I want to embed Aramis in this file. And if you can't, even though you can't do it through prepare form by just using the font selector, there is a workaround. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So let's close out of this. Don't save that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original um, PDF that I have. I'm going to delete it and I'm just going to call this test two with Aramis. Okay. Aramis, by the way, is an open font. So I'm going to open it up in Adobe Acrobat. This is the pro version of Adobe Acrobat. So I can edit the PDF. And then instead of going to pre prepare form where I could, you know, prepare form, I could change, let's say I could change this field to just take Right now it's taking Helvetica and I could I could select Aramis here. Uh, where is it? But that won't solve the problem. So let's say I did that and then I went to the properties. You can see Aramis is not here. So what you actually need to do is this. Go to the edit PDF form and then the trick is you add a blank text field so let's put it down here where nobody will notice it, hopefully. And then you change the selector here to Aramis or Aramis. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, make sure that it is the ordinary font. Bold. I don't want italic. All right. I'm just going to put Aramis there. And then I'm just going to type a single space and make sure that it's Aramis. Okay. I'm going to save that. I'm going to close it. I'm going to open it up again. And let's take a look at the properties so we can see the fonts that are embedded. What do you know? Aramis is the very first one. So this means when I start distributing this PDF later on, uh, the font will become will be embedded in there, and any of my users will be able to uh, use this nice looking uh, cursive font. And I know this works because I've prepared other PDFs this way, doing this very method. I've sold hundreds of them, and nobody has complained that they're unable to use the uh, cursive font. It turns out exactly like they expected, and exactly the way that I promote it. If this video helped you out. Check out our other videos at the In Thirty Minutes video channel on YouTube. Also, please follow and like this particular video if it helped you out. Thank you.